Hey guys, and welcome back to another Warp Zone guide for Super Meat Boy. Today we're going to be tackling Chapter 4 Hell, and we're going to start on 4-8 Weeby. And uh, these Warp Zones are actually really, really difficult to get, as you'll see. Uh, very surprising if I get these on the first try. They're all quite difficult, and very hidden, so, you know, I don't blame you if you haven't gotten all these. So the one we're getting right here is actually up in the top right corner. So what you gotta do is uh, bounce off this wall and make some of those dissolving blocks go, and there you go. Oh, but the warp zone disappeared, so I'll just commit suicide and try again. So yeah, there's some dissolving blocks. You can't see the warp zone at all. You just have to dissolve the blocks, then jump up there and basically pray for the best. At least that's, uh, that's the way it's worked for me in the past. So yeah, jump on this wall, make the blocks dissolve, and then just kind of keep hammering in that area, and there we go. <clears throat> Super Meat Boy. So this is the first warp zone, uh, first non-character warp zone in Hell anyway, on 4-8. This uh, warp zone actually took me a long time to beat. The first few levels are pretty easy, even as I just died right there. Or sorry, the first level itself is very easy, and the third level is pretty easy as well. But the second level, it took me forever to figure out the pattern that you need to jump. But, uh, you know, if you're having similar troubles, hopefully this video will help you out. So yeah, this one looks more daunting than it is. All you've really got to do is wait for an opportunity for you to jump up that side wall. As soon as you have the height clearance, go for it and you'll be able to make it. Like I said, it looks worse than it actually is. Uh, this one uh, caused me a little bit of problems, I guess. There's a bandage that sometimes uh, you might be inclined to get sitting on that platform on the far left. So you have to do this level twice, basically, to get the bandage. But as long as you're, uh, you're cautious with your jumps, you should be okay. As I am right there, apart from that little mess up in Warp Zone level 1. So now we'll move on to Adversary, another relatively hidden Warp Zone that's kind of tricky to get. So in this one you have to basically beat 80% of the level in order to get to the location with the Warp Zone. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but it's kind of directly above the second laser. So just get past this first one here, make the transition to the second one, and as we're waiting at this right here, what you want to do is jump into that uh, I don't know, you call it a crawl space, and then just kind of keep jumping around again until you actually get the warp zone. So this is another four-color Super Meat Boy warp zone. Uh, that is actually pretty easy. For my money, this is uh, not a hard warp zone at all. Definitely the easy one in hell. The easiest non-character one anyway. And I'll reiterate again, I'm saving the character ones for when I do the, uh, the character videos. So yeah, first level, just outrun the locks. Seen it a hundred times before, shouldn't present too much of a challenge. This one, again, uh, it's going to be very difficult for you to die on this. There's actually a bandage directly in the center of this level if you haven't gotten it. Uh, so the fact that you're able to get that without dying definitely means you can get all these keys without dying quite easily. This is probably the easiest warp zone individual level in the whole, uh, the entirety of hell. Uh, this one requires a little bit of practice, I guess, but what you really want to do is time that second jump so you're just behind the saw, and then you can avoid the the horizontal saw that comes next. So that is two of the three non-character warp zones in Hell done. So we'll go to the Dark World and we'll head up to 47X Thistle. And this uh, warp zone is actually a huge pain in the ass to get. You need uh, someone who double jumps. Or I'm pretty sure you need someone who double jumps anyway. So if you can see it right now, the warp zone is on the bottom there, in between two of those saws that have a very, very slight gap, about one Ogmo wide for you to get through. And you can see I'm having a little bit of trouble, but I finally do it. <clears throat> and again, these levels are actually not that bad, considering uh, how late in the game we are. Or maybe I'm just uh, I'm playing so much Cotton Alley in the Dark World that uh, I'm acclimated to it at this point. So this one's just a standard uh, jumping puzzle while you have to outrun something. Again, something we've seen dozens of times before. Uh, and then this is basically the same thing, only vertically, and the jumps are a little bit harder. But, you know, there's levels just like this in the light world of hell, so if you've beaten those, you shouldn't have too much trouble with that after a little bit of practice. And this one is really just uh, timing. Is You don't really have to be urgent, or uh, even though I just died right there, as uh, jinxed myself as usual. But yeah, you don't have to really be super quick with it, just be patient and make sure that your jumps are well-timed. I know it sounds like perfect advice, right? Just make sure your jumps are timed properly. But uh, really, it isn't any harder than that, so we'll just get to Bandage Reel here and that'll be game over for these. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with Warp Zones in Part 5, The Rapture.